What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So today I want to talk about the Dokkan Fest units that us global players can expect to come out within the next 6 to 8 months. The way this will work is that I will be doing a brief overview of each individual unit and their banners. My hope is that this will help you guys better budget your stones for the near future and to save up for the characters that you really want. For my longtime viewers, yes, I did make a similar video on this topic about three months ago. However, a lot of new stuff has been dropped on the JP version since then, so I thought it was a good time for an update. Now, I'll be presenting these characters slash Dokkan Fest in the order that they were released on JP, but that doesn't mean they will be dropped on Global in the same order. As you guys know, Bandai likes to switch things up on us from time to time when it comes to the Global version, so just keep that in mind. So if all that sounds good to you, then let's get started with the first character who I truly believe will be the next Dokkan Fest announced on Global, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. I know this is one of those banners that a ton of people are saving their stones for, so best of luck to everyone who will be summoning. Now, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, who starts off as just Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, is the leader of the Pure Saiyans category. He gives units in this category key plus 3, HP and defense plus 170% and attack plus 130%. His super attack causes immense damage and greatly lowers the enemy's defense. His passive is attack plus 120%, defense plus 60% and he launches 2 additional attacks per turn, getting an additional 7% defense per attack up to a maximum of 70%. He also will have a 30% chance to evolve starting on the 4th turn of the fight. His links are Prodigies, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Warrior Gods, Prepare for Battle, Tournament of Power, and Fierce Battle. He also fits in 5 categories. They are Universe, Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, and Representatives of Universe 7. After transformation, his passive will change to attack and defense plus 130%, launches 2 additional attacks, and chance to perform a critical plus 10% with each attack up to a maximum of 70%. So after 7 total attacks, he will have a 70% chance to perform a critical hit every single time. Moving on to his banner from JP, it featured Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta himself, Jiren, Dispo, Ribrian, Tech 17, STR Ultimate Gohan, Topo, and two SRs. Of all the banners I'll be talking about in this video, SSBE Vegeta's banner in my opinion has the highest chance of being changed when it comes to global. This is mainly because four of these units, namely Dispo, Ribrian, Tech 17, and Topo, were just featured on the LR Goku and Frieza banner. Of course, there's always the chance that it will remain the same, which would definitely kinda suck. Overall, SSBE Vegeta is a fantastic unit with an even better category. His banner isn't too bad either, but it could definitely be better. Nonetheless, he's one of the most highly anticipated units on Global, and I know tons of people will be pouring a lot of their stones into his banner for a chance to pull this man. Up next, we have Physical Future Gohan. His leader skill gives Future Saga category units key plus 3, HP plus 130%, attack and defense plus 170%. His super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage to the enemy. His passive is attack plus 100%, raises defense by up to 100% based on the amount of HP remaining. He also gains 10% damage reduction every turn, maxing out at 50%. His links are Golden Warrior, All in the Family, Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighters, Dismal Future, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. He fits in two categories, Hybrid Saiyan and Future Saga. As for his banner, it was actually a pretty fantastic one. It featured Future Gohan himself, Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, Tech Vegito Blue, STR Rage Trunks, Int Rage Trunks, AGL 18, Physical 17, and 4 different SRs. Of course, this banner used to be more hype when we thought it would be bringing Tech Vegito Blue back to us for the first time. Here's to hoping they'll take him out and bring back another hype category lead like Turles, for example. Overall, Physical Feature Trunks is a very good unit. He won't be hitting the hardest for you, but he can be a fantastic tank, especially as the fight progresses. However, I am a little bit iffy on his category and I don't see a ton of people running it. His banner though should be pretty damn solid, so it might still be worth the summon. Moving right along, we have another big one in Tech Super Saiyan 4, Full Power Goku. His leader skill gives full power category units, key plus 3, 
HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. He also gives super tech units key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 90%. His super attack causes immense damage and greatly lowers the enemy's defense. His passive is attack plus 100% with an additional attack and defense plus 70% at max HP. This additional buff decreases as your HP gets lower. He also has a medium chance of evading the enemy's super and countering with tremendous power, just like Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. His links are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, Prepare for Battle, Shocking Speed, the Saiyan Lineage, GT, and Fierce Battle. He also fits in three categories, Pure Saiyans, Shadow Dragon Saga, and Full Power. As for his banner, it brought three brand new characters in STR GT Goku, Int Perfect Cell, and Physical Final Form Frieza, all of whom are pretty solid units. It also featured Full Power SSJ4 Goku himself, Physical Omega Shenron, Tech SSJ4 Gogeta, SSJ4 Vegeta, and SR Sin Shenron. Overall, this is a really strong unit with a great banner to match. If I had to venture a guess, I would predict that this ends up being Global's Christmas banner, which means we might be getting discounted multis and tickets with it. Of course, this is all just speculation, so don't take my word for it. Now, for our second last Dokkan Fest unit, we have Physical Android 17. His leader skill is Android Category Units Key Plus 3, HP and attack plus 170% and defense plus 130%. He also gives super physical units key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 90%. His super attack causes immense damage and lowers the enemy's attack and defense. His passive is attack plus 120% when performing a super attack. All allies key plus 3 and defense plus 60%. He also reduces damage received by 40% when HP is 77% or below. His links are Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Infinite Energy, Rival Duo, Shocking Speed, Tournament of Power, and Fierce Battle. Moving along to his banner, it was actually a really cool one. As part of a Dragon Ball Fighters collaboration, we will be getting a new Tech Android 16 and a STR Android 21. Both of these units, in my opinion, are almost good enough to be Dokkan Fest units in their own right. As for the other featured units, we have Physical Android 17, AGL Tapion, Super 17, STR Perfect Cell, Tech Perfect Cell, and 3 SRs. Honestly, I am in love with this Android 17. Not only will he be dealing some very solid damage for you, he's also an amazing support unit and can tank quite well when you need it most. The two new Android 16 and 17 units are also a huge incentive for me to summon. Keep in mind that they aren't Dokkan Fest exclusives though, so you'll have a chance to get them on every banner moving forward. Last but not least, we have two confirmed Dokkan Fests for which we have very little info on. They are the winner of the Dokkan Fest election, Hit, and the upcoming Transforming Super Buu. At this point, all we really know is that they're both on the way to JP and eventually to Global at some point. Transforming Buu is confirmed to be the next JP Dokkan Fest after the 250 million download celebration, but there's no telling when Hit will be released. If you guys want more information on the Transforming Boo, you can find a video on my channel about it. However, I literally have zero information about Hit. But if anything does come out about him in the near future, you can bet your boy Tiger will be here to fill you guys in. One last thing I want to mention before we go is that somewhere in between these Dokkan Fests, we should also see legendary summon banners for LR Bardock and LR Cell, as well as a million other filler banners. But they aren't Dokkan Fest banners, so I'm not going to go into detail about them in this video. So that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below which Dokkan Fest unit you're the most hype for. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also, if you haven't yet, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all from me today. I'm out. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.